what's up it's Haley and welcome back to my channel we are in sunny sunny LA and it is so exciting because today is my first thrifting day here basically we're gonna go ahead and go into the Goodwill here in Southern California I'm visiting my sister and I said might as well take the opportunity and thrift some of your favorite things this is my mommy my beautiful mom her name is Dina and she is actually the one that got me into thrifting when I was really little and you inspired me mom so thank you for the passion of thrifting. So basically, we're actually gonna start off right here in the men's section. Always, the men's section is key, especially if you wanna go ahead and find really fun graphics. Oh, look at this, guys. It's the Raptors logo. I'm finding little pieces of home back here, even in LA. Okay guys, so I actually just hit the racks right here. They're brand new and I found this amazing tie-up little Brandy Melville top. I actually love these colors and definitely something I could throw on, especially if I'm like going to the beach. Just found two pair of Adidas leggings. These would be really fun in like an athleisure look. For something I noticed in American thrift stores, um, there's not really any cards. I've actually been using my one free hand to just gather some stuff. I found some random Ikea bag. Something else is that I'm actually standing in a corner because somebody already told me that I can't film in here, which is a little bit frustrating. But bottom line is I still found incredible pieces from like so many incredible brands. I found skirts from like Levi's. I found Levi jeans. I found Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein, Brandy Melville. So many amazing brands and so many cute pieces I'm excited to show you. Basically, we're at thrift store number two. Still, there's no cards anywhere and it's kind of frustrating. Found this super cool uh, vintage Super Bowl t-shirt. Thought that would be really nice. Denim, heaven, I'm not joking. First, look at these perfect small size guest vintage jeans. Hello. And then I found these ones which kind of have like a little wide leg and a little bow. So I'm gonna try them on, see how they fit. And then literally the perfect high-waisted Levi's in such a light wash and they look like they're gonna fit so nice. So, no, we're not in some sketchy back alley. We're actually in the back of an LA Goodwill. So how can I be in Los Angeles and not reach out to one of the best thrifters here in LA? You guys probably know her, but if you don't, I'm here today with the beautiful Alexa. And basically today, we're actually gonna go ahead and go into this Los Angeles thrift store. Um, I don't think you've been in this location before, no, right? No, never been in that. It looks pretty big as yeah. well, so I'm hoping it's like clean. Oh, there's carts, which in Los Angeles, yes. like, no Goodwill. That's really something I cart. noticed. There's no carts, so hopefully today we can get some really fun thrifting footage for you guys. So you guys know in every thrifting video I do, denim is the first section I start off in because I am just so obsessed with denim. And Alexa and I were actually talking about the fact that we still haven't found our perfect piece of denim that just fits us in all the right places. So that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for today and hopefully we get lucky with something like that. Even though it doesn't look like there's so much variety here, let's go ahead and take a look if we can see a nice pair. Oh, I really like the swash. Ooh, these are some Wranglers. They do look like they're super big though. <laughs> Not really um, finding anything, Alexa. That's a nice... Cool, what? It's very secret. Like, oh, I yeah, that's not a good idea. We kind of said if we don't have any success here, we're gonna thrift hop to different locations and hopefully that way we'll find some goods in different places. Yeah. We just got to brunch and I am with the beautiful Summer. I'm so glad I finally got to meet her. I mean, yeah. Right, we've been following each other for so long and it is about time. So, so glad you reached out to me, Summer. Okay, we're trying to like figure out where to go. Summer said there's this one in Santa Monica. I think that's gonna be our first stop, so. Um, I think it's the American Christmas. All right, guys, so we actually just got to the Goodwill and this is the one in Santa Monica, yes. correct? I've so, never been to this one. Yeah, it does look super clean and organized. It's not like huge, but I don't know. I have a good feeling that we're gonna find some good stuff. Okay, here's a couple things that I picked up. I just put them all in the hanger here because no cards, so it's a little bit hard to film. I found this um, literally schoolgirl uniform, but you guys know Brandy Melville is recreating so many different skirts and dresses in this style, so I did like that. It may be on the shorter side, so we'll have to try it on. I found this little black dress. I thought it would be really nice for Florida as well. The front actually has this crisscross effect, which I thought would look really pretty too. This is just a simple basic tee. I thought maybe I can actually thrift flip this one. You guys know when I like adding an elastic to the bottom of my shirt, so I may do it with this one. This little skirt I actually thought was also very Brandy Melville-esque. I just really like the little printed flowers. I think it looks super nice too. I found a little Adidas sports bra also, which clearly is something that's always usable. And then I really love this slip dress. Alexa Sunshine 83 actually thrifted a really similar one, and this one is in a beautiful like emerald green color. 
It's definitely on the shorter side, so I do have to try that on too. And those are just a couple of my finds. You guys can literally see our struggle when there's no carts. It's so hard to film and like so thrift too. at the same like time. Arm is like, uh. All right, guys. So here is that little slip dress. It actually fits perfectly, but it's super, super short. I think it comes up to like maybe here. So I just tucked it in. And I think even wearing it as a top, obviously not with these jeans because this color denim doesn't match the best. But with some black jeans tucked in, I feel like it would look so beautiful together. Um, this is what I do when I'm just too lazy to take off my pants. But I think it's actually a perfect length. It has a cute little slit right here on the side. And I feel like because I'm actually planning on going to Florida soon again, I feel like it will be a really good vacation dress to either throw on on top of a bikini or just for like a dinner night out. And then last off, the only t-shirt I picked up was just this Adidas one. It has the stripes on the sides, which I thought was a cute little detail. I just tied it here at the front. I could also tuck it in like this. I feel like with a pair of high-waisted jeans, it's such a simple look and I honestly never go wrong with just a simple t-shirt and jeans. All right guys, so we just finished up at Buffalo Exchange. I actually got a couple things and so did Summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and next clip you guys will see, I'm actually gonna give you a big haul of everything back home in Toronto. But I'm so happy that I got to meet Summer. She's honestly the <laughs> sweetest person ever. Beautiful inside so and out. You. And I will see you guys back home. Okay, you guys, I am so excited to go ahead and show you everything that I thrifted in LA. I am actually back home now in Canada. I came from warm weather to this. Literally a blizzard outside. I actually washed all these and removed all the tags so they all smell amazing. I can hug them as much as I want. But I actually did save the little price tag. Throughout the entire haul, I'm also gonna let you guys know how much I paid for everything. I know you're always curious and a little bit nosy to know how much thrift stores charge for certain pieces. So I actually just split it up into categories. All of these things I thrifted over those three different thrift trips. So I actually went ahead and found three little bottoms and let's start off with denim. Because every time I thrift, I always start off in the men's denim section and I actually wanted to show you a pretty sick pair of Levi's that I I actually ended up scoring. These are the slim fit Levi's and I got them from the men's section. They fit definitely more loose, not as high waisted as the kind of jeans I usually go for, but I still really, really like the fit. I actually went ahead and maybe snipped off maybe an inch or two off of the bottom of the jeans and then I threw them in the wash and it kind of created this little frayed hem. This was actually a blue tag item. I think it was originally eight bucks and I got it for four, so amazing deal. Okay, the next bottoms I actually found were super funky and I right away just kind of gravitated towards this green stripe pattern. The best part is that they're actually from Brandy Melville. I actually loved the pattern before I even noticed the brand. I can pull these up and they can sit really high up on my waist, which I really like. I think it's super flattering. Even with like a little t-shirt tied at the front, it's such an easy look to pull together. The next bottoms I picked up actually came brand new with tags, which is amazing. An incredible corduroy Calvin Klein skirt. It's definitely more of the newer Calvin Klein brand because this is a newer tag. Again, something else that I can't wait to rock in Miami. But even to wear it in the winter, I saw corduroy skirts being styled with like opaque, black tights, some chunky docks, and I think it's an amazing look too. Speaking about Miami and vacations, I actually picked up a few dresses that I am obsessed with. This first one, you guys, I actually thrifted when I was with Alexa, and look at this spicy, spicy number. This is just like one of those little kind of peasanty style dresses up on top, but it has the most beautiful flower print here on the dress. It really reminds me of a Reformation style dress, and then for the shoulders, you could either wear it off the shoulder if you're feeling extra scandalous, or I would probably just pull it up over my shoulders. And then another dress that really gives me those scenery to vibes too is this one. Honestly, everything about it from the thin spaghetti straps, the square neckline, this flower pattern, I love this dress. The way that I'm envisioning styling this dress is with like a really chunky sandal like this. I think it would look so good together. These with like some mini sunglasses, definitely a look that could be pulled out straight from the 90s. And this next dress, actually I'm not sure what brand it's from because the tag has been taken out, but it incorporates one of my favorite recent trends and that is kind of like this glittery, almost sparkly, threading and I love that this is coming back because I had so many pieces like that in my wardrobe when I was younger so yeah a really nice midi length dress that I can wear for every season and keep your eye out for this fabric because I really feel like this is gonna come back strong so now let's move on to tops and I'm first gonna show you my two little retro t-shirts I guess that I got um, the first one is actually this huge oversized Nike neon just do it logo t-shirt it's so funny that I found this because I actually have the exact same one in white already in my wardrobe you probably saw it on my Instagram. If you haven't, you guys should definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram to see me style all my thrifted pieces. Um, I try to incorporate something thrifted in every single one of my outfits to serve you up with all that outfit inspo in case you guys are looking. And I actually love that I can wear it as a t-shirt dress in the summer with some bike shorts underneath. It would look so cute, even some denim shorts. You guys already know that graphic tees is something I've been styling forever. I have an entire collection and I always try to go for either those like car racing graphics or on the other hand, I go for Super Bowl and like sporty t-shirts. And I really like this one. I 
love the colors of the blue and the orange. Again, it's really easy to pull an all black look together when you have a fun graphic on your tee. Um, this is also an extra large. It was in the men's section and I think it was $2. So this is pretty much the only like winter item I ended up picking up. I feel like for layering, turtlenecks are super essential because you could wear it either on its own or style on top a t-shirt or a little cami or a tank top or even a dress. There's so many different ways to wear a versatile piece like this. But this is actually a Brandy Melville top as well. Super, super thin pinstripe pattern tie up top. I would just tie it on top of a bikini or even wear it with some high waisted jeans with a cute little cami underneath. There's like so many different ways to style them. So now that we're on the Brandy Melville train, there's a couple t-shirts I picked up that aren't from Brandy Melville, but definitely give off those Brandy Melville vibes. I say Brandy Melville a lot. But anyway, something that very much speaks to the Brandy Melville brand are just like little crop t-shirts. And I found this one, it was in really good condition. I decided to pick it up as well. This is kind of like a little baseball tee, but it's already cropped, which is super nice. So I don't have to tuck it in or tie the front. But tops like these are so easy to throw together into a look. And then another t-shirt that honestly feels and really resonates the Brandy Melville brand as well is this one. And it is just this light blue, again, with the super thin um, little stripes going across. You could find a lot of little replica and dupes to Brandy Melville at the thrift store and these ones were really cheap too But one piece I actually thought was super cute was just this little tank top It's already cropped and it just says baby 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 in these colors here The font on this t-shirt just kind of reminds me of what I use for my thumbnails So I don't know I really liked it felt a little bit retro kind of a throwback to the 90s This beautiful little black lace silky cami I just use so many different words to describe this but guys these little dainty tank tops have been so popular right now and I'm telling you right now do not waste your money buying them in store go to the thrift store because I see maybe like 10 of these in the lingerie section all the time next lingerie item I was so excited for and I'm like really sad now okay anyway it's this piece um, you guys saw me try it on in the little video so it was too short but I loved it so much even as a tank top I was like okay I'll make it work I put it in the laundry and you guys the strap it broke and now I'm sad Maybe I'll figure out another thrift flip that I can use this fabric and pattern because it's just so beautiful. Ooh, quickly wanted to sneak in this one as well. You guys know that I love working out and I just change out my sports bra every single day when I train. I found this little sports bra when I was with Summer and it actually is a beautiful like little periwinkle blue color. I really like this one and I'm pretty sure it was a blue tag item too. So I think I ended up getting it for like two or three dollars, which is amazing. You all know how much I love my denim. I found this denim jacket when I was at Buffalo Exchange with Summer and this one is kind of like an acid very light denim wash and I am obsessed with it I'm obsessed with the fit everything the funny thing is is that this is actually from the brand wild fable which summer told me is actually a brand from Target and if you didn't see the tag this could have so easily been a Levi's jacket and I actually have a really fun idea and little touch to add to this jacket in my next thrift flip for winter. So stay tuned for that, it's coming up so soon. Oh, and the last little thing I wanted to show you guys is this beautiful little headband. It has these amazing pearl details on it. I just really love it. It obviously doesn't match my hairstyle right now, but I thought it was a really nice detail and these pearls are actually so beautiful. And that's pretty much it guys. That is everything that I thrifted on my thrift trip in LA. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did. And also let me know down below which of these pieces was your favorite. If you guys are actually people who thrift in LA, let me know what your favorite locations are so I can be sure to check them out next time I go. Be sure to follow me on Instagram as well to see me style these pieces. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. I love you all so much and see you in my next one. Bye.